Hello friends, so Canonical has released the latest version of Ubuntu which is 24.04 and it is going to be the LTS version. LTS is termed as long term supported version. So in this particular video I am going to show you how we can install it on Raspberry Pi 5, what all the features has been enhanced and what all the glitches we can observe when we are working with this particular OS on Raspberry Pi 5. So let's first understand what exactly the LTS is going to have. So it is going to support for 12 years for the first five year bugs fixes features everything will everyone will get but the full full 12 years only the pro subscribe user will get the support for 12 years and they can utilize it also it is based on the linux 6.8 kernel and by default python ruby php go and open jdk 21 is the default for the java version will come for the application part the main changes which is going to have is the support for the .NET community. So Linux will support .NET also. Now let's uh, go how we can install it on the Raspberry Pi 5. So I am going to use the Raspberry Pi Imager. We will select the OS by going to the other specific other general purpose OS. And then we'll, we will get the Ubuntu and we can see that we have 24.04 LTS 64 bit. We will choose the storage. So storage i will be i am having 128 gb i'm directly utilizing the sd card to install it so let's see how exactly it will go so once we'll click on next it will take some time to write it on the sd card everything and then verify it and then it will get installed then we can power up the raspberry pi 5 and we can see that after some time uh, it will come to the ubuntu page where it is trying to process all the uh, steps to get it installed so it will take some time and then it will go to the main screen where we can be able to start configuring the different steps for the languages and selection of naming of the device so first let's go it will welcome you with the system configuration to select the language keyboard layout and i will skip the wireless connection part so you can do it select the time zone where you are and then provide the name of the system configuration so name of the system or and choose the password and confirm the password which we need to do so i will mark it as login automatically so i will not provide every time the password so it is all your specific need how you want to do it uh, click on continue so process event. so here if you see uh, the graphics when it start configuring everything here you see the glitches the first for the first time so uh, this is how exactly it will show then it will try to apply all the changes whatever uh, has to be done during the installation period okay so it is trying to apply all those changes once this changes uh, will get applied then uh, it will walk you to uh, provide some uh, input to, for the canonical how we can uh, they can take the advantages of uh, some issues and we can provide them all the blocks okay so this will take some time to get it uh, applying the changes so once the changes got applied then it will again uh, just go into the main screen and try to reboot and then it will come to the main screen and here we will see the welcome note from the ubuntu noble numbat development branch okay so we will do some configuration here and then we can start with the Ubuntu. So uh, if you see the first change, which you can see is the, the icon for the start menu that has changed. And then uh, let me show you uh, the details. So I'm using Raspberry Pi 5 model B uh, and you can see all the details. Okay. Now uh, you can see the memory utilization in the backend. So how much memory it is getting utilized so right now nothing is there so it is utilizing and then uh, they have maintained the snap uh, versions all the snap services so if you see i'm just uh, showing you so all the application is getting installed using a snap only okay so and if you see uh, when i'm clicking on any of the icon you can see a uh, effect so that has been enhanced and uh, if i go to the application also you can see here also that uh, they are using the snap versions for all their applications so uh, the configuration for the dark and style and normal style remains same so we can click on the button and we can change it to dark but if you see there are some graphics issues are getting shown 
if you if you are able to observe it so these are the, some graphics issue now let me go to the important update which is like we can get now rdp mode directly into this so we need to go to configuration in the system and in that one we have the RDP remote desktop mode so we need to provide or choose and the keyring password so one password we need to give which we can utilize it for the connection now uh, when we enable desktop sharing so, and remote control then it will by default assign 3389 port which is for the rdp uh, but there's another option if you see remote login and here we need to click on unlock first because it will allow you not allow you to do any configuration so when we click on unlock it will ask for the admin password and then only it will allow you to uh, enable the remote login once you click that then 3389 port will get assigned to this another change if you see uh, earlier we were not getting this uh, collapsible part so this is the another change which enhancement which you can see now uh, for the desktop sharing the port number will get changed to 3390 and remote login will be having 3389 for the rdp part so this is the means now you don't have to install anything means you can directly uh, do the rdp configuration from here so that is one of the change which or enhancement which has been done which was not there in uh, last, last version of the ubuntu okay but uh, if you are doing this only the configuration then again you will not be able to do the rtp because uh, in the remote login uh, we need to provide the username and password so let me show you that so let me go to remote login if you see here it was blank so it will not allow me to do the rtp and here let me put the username and password so you either you can choose your own uh, different password or you can keep the same it is up to our configuration and once then i'm trying to log in using rdp to my mobile and then if you see here uh, it is going to the particular uh, mode and getting it connected so i'm on the login screen so with remote login it will try to uh, sign off the user which is on the raspberry pi and try to log in from here so once we provide the password and then it will ask you to session is already running so whether you want to force stop if you click on the force stop it will force stop the other user and it will get you logged in okay another th updated features which are there in this particular version is uh, they have enabled multi-screen uh, so you can click on the top if you see uh, we can be able to go into different screen so that uh, desktop mode basically desktop screen are divided and when we click on the particular icon then it will show on that now let me show you another thing that we can from here we can move it to another desktop screen and then automatically third screen will get created so it will automatically move as much as and here also you can see the three icons for the three different screens and in which particular screen you are that one will get uh, listed there okay so the icon will be bigger in that particular section so it will give you a clear visuality and you will be able to find it uh, in a better mode that in which screen you are next up screen you are okay so that is another uh, enhancement uh, which was not there apart from that uh, the docking part that uh, you can now dock it in left right uh, full but also half and half bottom half or uh, up half so that also you can do so that is another thing which was not there so these are the some of the enhancement which has been done and uh, this we can utilize uh, for our some of the purposes now uh, what are the how are the difference between the raspberry pi 4 performance and the 5 so because raspberry pi 5 has been called as the desktop king right now so it is but so if i uh, boot the ubuntu 2404 then uh, raspberry pi 4 takes uh, of course extra time to boot uh, but how much if you see it is uh, almost like 47 uh, seconds difference is there okay so raspberry pi 4 gets booted in one almost like two minutes or here it will get booted in one minute uh, 11 seconds okay so that's how the performance difference is between pi 4 and pi 5 and uh, let me show you some glitches so if you see in raspberry pi 5 when i'm trying to click on the terminal or any icon okay it is not opening in the first click itself so if i click again so it shows that it is working in the background so it is taking time okay but yeah it is not coming up 
so this is this is one of the glitch which you can observe when you are working so you will not see that uh, the icon is getting opened or anything so it is not only for the icons okay so for any icons it takes time but even for any of the applications so all the applications it is not only in, into the particular section but even if you see this effect is coming uh, but it is not opening it is taking time so this is uh, one of the uh, glitch which but but normal configuration when you are clicking on the button it is working fine but when you're trying to open any application from anywhere okay it it is not uh, getting opened in the first click or it takes time to come so that is uh, the some issues or some glitches are there uh, in this particular version which i'm observing with raspberry pi 5. so yeah that's all uh, for this particular video thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one